in today's lecture we will discuss about uh, one of the basic multiplexer to ratio 1 in the previous lecture we discussed all the details about the introductory part of the multiplexers and uh, what can be the number of inputs number of outputs and uh, according to the number of inputs we are taking how many number of selection lines we require and we also discussed about the multiplexer with the enable signal so today we will discuss about one basic type of multiplexer to ratio 1 so we know that here number of inputs equals to 2 and uh, number of uh, outputs is equal to 1 for any type of multiplexer the number of outputs all always equal to 1 so now we need to decide uh, number of selection lines and uh, we know the number of selection lines we can have the formula 2 raised to power n is equal to m where m is the number of inputs so n is the number of selection lines so here 2 raised to power n is equal to 2 so this implies n is equal to 1 so number of selection lines we require 1 based upon this formula now the block diagram this is the first part we must know second part we must know about its block diagram so block diagram say for example this is a multiplexer 2 raised to power 1 multiplexer two inputs i node and i1 only one output y and obviously one selection line and that selection line say for example s node so this is the initial setup for a multiplexer so we know that s node can have only two values two values means either it can have a zero or a one so we know that when the value of s node is equal to zero then obviously this value will be selected when s node is equal to zero and when s is equal to one then obviously this input will be directed as a output means when s node is equal to 1 we discussed this thing in the introductory part 1 lecture of multiplexers when s node is equal to 0 i node will be directed as output when s node is equal to 1 then i1 will be directed as a output so now the next thing third thing that we must know is about the truth table so what is the truth table say for example this is a select input and a one output select input say for example we are taking s node and output we are taking y now when s node is equal to 0 which one will be selected i node will be selected and when s node is equal to 1 obviously i1 will be selected so this is the truth table third now fourth 
point is that based upon this truth table we can write its logic function logic function in the sense that y is the output so y is equal to logic function y is equal to see s naught is equal to 0 means s naught complement i naught see the truth table now here s naught is equal to 1 means s naught because it is 1 so no complement we are writing actually sum of product boolean expression so 0 means complemented form and 1 means uncomplemented s naught i1 so this is the logic function now it's a realization last point is actually the realization means the circuit diagram we know that the multiplexers can be realized using and nor and not get so <clears throat> see the boolean function here we require two and gates because this one and gate and this one and gate so we require two and gates this is one and suppose this is two for this the input is i naught and for this the input is i1 so these are two inputs now we need one selection line s naught so this is a safe s naught for i naught its complemented part so complemented so this is s naught and for uh, second no complement means this way only so this is s naught complement and this is simply s naught and now we also require one or gate because this is plus so we require one or gate say for example this is number 3 logic gate and this is output y so this is the circuit diagram of uh, 2 to 1 multiplexer and uh, if we want that we want to check the validity that whether it is true or not so say for example when s naught is equal to 0 then see what can be the output y is the output so see this from 1 from logic gate 1 we will get 1 because i naught first input second input s naught complement means 1 and from 2 we will get i1 is input and s naught s naught is a 0 so this comes out to be 0 and what will be the output from 3 which is the uh, output y this is the or of uh, these two inputs this 1 and these 2 two inputs so i naught into 1 i naught this comes out to be 0 so this is i naught so this is the output we get when s naught is equal to 0 and you can check that uh, this is the truth table and see when s naught is equal to 0 what will be the output i naught and when s naught is equal to 0 y is the i naught is the output 
and in next lecture we can also implement this 2 to 1 multiplexers for designing or and not means we can implement this 2 to 1 multiplexer for the realization of basic logic gates. Thank you very much.